What is going on everyone? So AMC today making its way back up and we're currently at 58.86. This morning actually was a little slow and even when I'm recording this, we're still pumping up and we can see we're actually, I'm on the day chart. It looks fairly solid. Now if we switch to the one minute, we can see much clearer, I'd say, uh, view of the recent activity and you can see yesterday, you can tell pretty much AMC was not looking good. Today, completely different story and obviously options expire tomorrow for a lot of people and just depending on your strike price you're either in the money or you are hoping amc continues to run up because if it doesn't a lot of people will lose some profits but so far this current trend if this were to maintain and coming into lunchtime continue as well as tomorrow then it's definitely going to be good for the option traders also AMC holders in general. Now, currently right now, the volume yesterday actually wasn't too good. There wasn't much going on, but today, I mean, if we were to look at the current volume right now, and I'll just pull it up really quick on my app. We're at 68 mil looks like right here, and we're only at $59, right? So back when the volume went up, I think it was what, like almost 300 plus in the past few days, and then also the week before we were at the 600 mil volume, but now, we're not even close to that yet. So there's still a lot of room to grow. And then also guys, remember this video is my own opinion. This is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Be sure to do reach before making any investments. But we can see here that people pretty much kept buying and buying. Not many people are selling off. So barely any red candlesticks and they were continuing to surge up. So at least hopefully by the time the video was up that we were, uh, we're well past 60 right now. Obviously I can't predict the um, future, but at least this current trend, it looks like we could potentially reach that while I'm recording this. But right now, let's just go ahead and let's just look at some highlights, some news articles and see what's going on. So the first place I like to check is Reddit because a lot of people have different research and different DD that we can check out. And this person is kind enough. And this is the most recent stuff, by the way, of today. And again, if you follow AMC Hardcore, you probably know this. But in case you're just chilling, you don't know, let me tell you. And this person has this post right here. And basically, I showed it yesterday in my um, video talking about like dark pool stuff, like uh, under the radar stuff. But here you can see, let's look at point number one, 426 million shares in dark pool today. Now, I don't know if this is, it looks like this is updated recently. So definitely feel free to fact check this yourself. But um, that's basically almost the entire float was traded in dark pool today. And they say the price is reported 22 billion negative so it's negative 22 bill which it seems like it's increased i believe almost another bill from the other day again and then that is basically saying what is that all about now if you have no idea there's other reddit posts i saw already but basically there's uh under the radar stuff from these posts that are indicating that the current price of amc could potentially be completely different right now number two they say head of NYSE, New York Stock Exchange, admits that AMC's share price may not be accurate due to off-market trading, which is literally dark pool stuff, the other pretty much off-market things that people were um, speculating. And if NYSE, the head of the New York Stock Exchange, admits that as well, that literally is going to change the game once things get updated. But the thing is, we have to just wait. It's a win game at this point. Another third is Ortex reports a buy signal and a squeeze that could happen as little as two days if I read that correctly. Now, hopefully this person posted this the same time they made this, meaning today, I mean today, Friday is the only days left of the market open. So again, that would indicate one, a lot of call options would be in the money if that's the case. So maybe, maybe that's part of it. We don't know yet. Again, AMC, one day it's down, the next day it's up. So we just have to wait. Now, number four says 60% of today's AMC volume was done off exchanges in dark pool. So that's another big thing is because retail investors like me and you guys, we don't have access to that type of um, information, at least from my knowledge. So it's like, how can I see the dark pool volume data if, if it is even is accurate too? Because I mean, you don't know who's creating those, um, those data charts and then giving you that information. And then he puts dark fibers were Spend it May 12th and AMC ran from 12 to 72. NYSC demanded them to be turned back on May 18th. I'm not sure the status now. Number six, they post there's a story about hiding a lot of synthetic shares in uh, the money call options. Again, we talk about the naked shorts and pretty much how that's a whole nother um, video topic. But basically, 
the last one, June 2nd, the volume traded was $1.5 billion, and now we own 80% of the float. So that's pretty much showing how many synthetics traded out there. Now, this is a quick little summary. Some of the stuff is interesting, but most part I've seen the dark pool information, the 80% retail owns, and then this other stuff we definitely would have to check out. But that just gives you guys a quick brief update what's going on. And this is the most recent top voted post that I could find on this um, Reddit floor. Now, this... This is similar to the video I made yesterday, and I think it's interesting experiment I did just to show you guys like how the internet reacts basically to information without actually looking at the information. So my video yesterday, the title, yes, I get it. It sounds like I put bad news, but I wasn't actually saying bad things about AMC. I was basically just talking about how or implying that media companies will start to put out negative media to trick people or pretty much push some sort of agenda or narrative towards um, the way someone feels, whether that's just stock related or just anything in general. But this person took a screenshot of basically, it seems like forget AMC titled um, news articles, which you could connotate as bad news, negative news. And that's essentially what I did yesterday in my YouTube video, where I just put look bad news for um, AMC without actually saying anything technically bad. Because again, I've been holding AMC for pretty much the inception of this channel, and yet people just automatically don't like the video because of the title without actually seeing the content. Same thing with news media. A lot of these companies, they create these like so-called bad news negative articles. People click on it, and all they said was like one line about AMC, and the rest is just like promoting something else, right? So you can see this screenshot. I'll click it and make it larger. Forget AMC, forget AMC, forget AMC, forget AMC, forget AMC like a million times, which in... If you're just looking at the titles and you don't actually read the actual article, you might think, oh, no, AMC, if you never studied it or understood what's going on, you might think, AMC, oh, that's not good. That's not a good thing. But in reality, most of these articles, I'm pretty sure if you click onto it, it may, it might just say, like, super risky investment, and then they'll talk about some random uh, information that has nothing to do with AMC. Especially, like, some of these companies, they promote, like, their other stock stuff. So they'll be like, uh, forget this stock. Check out these three pigs or whatever. I'm sure you guys have seen those articles. So that's, again, this is just how the media is working. They create, you know, clicks. They get paid from the advertisements. And next thing you note, know, if you were just to scan through the titles, you would think AMC is terrible. You wouldn't even notice. But in reality, it's like, if you look, forget AMC, buy these two landlords instead. Now, again, this could be Photoshop too. That's another thing. With Reddit, people forget that um, information could be Photoshop. I've seen a lot of people Photoshop stuff on Reddit. So, again, I always look at things on the internet as a like 50 50 and then unless you can confirm every single post or data then it's not exactly until you actually confirm yourself now i've seen some articles similar not exactly for amc but like i've seen things regarding like amc um not worth it type stock things like that so i wouldn't be too surprised if these are accurate but definitely feel free to um fact check this stuff because again people don't know whether it's accurate or not unless they either research it themselves or they just chill back and relax and hope it's accurate, right? So that's something to consider. But again, going back on just AMC overall, I mean, there's a 50-50 mix. There's news where it's saying it's terrible, it's not good. And then there's opposite where it's saying it's greatest opportunity of people's lives. So again, we have to wait and see. We were not able to break out of 60 to at least currently when I'm recording. But as volume increases, as demand increases over the day, hopefully we see that breakout. And then from there, we'll see where AC goes. But again, daily update on AMC. Feel free to comment below your thoughts, predictions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.